Hey guys, what's up? Your humble host Picasso here. Thanks for joining in. Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, we are going to take a look at a uh, an Android launcher. This it is Home UX by uh, Dravite Limited. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay guys, so right off the bat, this is Home UX Beta. Okay, I have pre-ordered the Pro version for release. Okay, um, don't recall right now how much that was if you are interested in doing so, but many ways to uh, find that out. You can just look it up in the Play Store. It's Home UX. It's by Dravite Limited. It's a very cool launcher. I love the concept. It's had a few updates already. And right off the bat, as you can see, let's zoom in here. Keep in mind, there is a small disclaimer that it is only for Lollipop devices. Okay, this is the LG G3, um, but I am running CM12.1 on it, which is a uh, Android 5.1.1, uh, I think. That's where we're at right now. Um, don't recall at the moment. So basically, pretty straightforward. I made a few tweaks already, just figuring it out, going through it uh, on my own before making the video. I was waiting a long time for this. Then I checked uh, my Google Plus feed today and I saw that uh, beta was open. Okay, links down below if you want to uh, become a beta tester. Don't know uh, if there's a size limit or whatever the case may be, but I will have the Google Plus page linked down below if you want to check it out. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's let's begin. Right off the bat, we have the time and date up at the top here, this little top header. As you see, it does swipe left and right. Then we have all. Now, all is because the app drawer is right here. This is the app drawer. And you can simply swipe left and right to navigate through the app drawer. This is where all your apps are, okay? Now, first time I saw this, I was like, wow. I'm not impressed with this because I don't like all my apps just right there, but there's a way to get around that and we're going to get to that in a second. Okay, so tapping on the clock, okay, you'll bring up your clock, okay, so straightforward. Uh, the date, you can't tap on the date, that doesn't do anything, okay. Um, over here, it's a little uh, camera button, tapping it obviously is going to open up the camera. See my little fingers back there. Uh, let's do that. Okay, and then on this little row here, we have uh, five icons, right, or five application shortcuts that I put. We have the phone, uh, Google Messenger, Inbox, Google Chrome, and Google Keep. Okay, so very cool, just very simple. You just get up there, you tap the icons, it brings up uh, the corresponding application. So pretty cool. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what this app can do. First of all, now the app drawer, I was saying there's something you could do to get around that. Okay, um, we're actually going to get to that, but let's just go ahead and start swiping the header to the right. Okay, there you see all. Okay, you see right there, all. And that is all apps. Okay, um, let's tap and hold it. So you can bring it over here. Once you tap and hold on it, bring it over to this little pencil. And what you can do, you can change the color. Okay, the color set. All right, now it says this folder does not allow changing apps because it's the app drawer, so you can't do anything to it there. Um, let's go ahead and change the color from red. Let's put it to blue, of course. And then you have a secondary color. I'm gonna put that to yellow. Then you hit back. Now it's changed, you get a little example up here, there's the blue, there's the yellow. Uh, let's hit OK once again, and here we are. So now, when hitting Home, uh, you're, you're just there basically. So you hit um, Home, so the accent color, the secondary is yellow, okay, and the header is blue. Alright, so cool. So now we can actually add, if you look, actually that's a terrible color. Let me go ahead and uh, change this very quickly because the secondary color is not showing up very well. So now you see over here, um, you know, when you tap and hold, it, sorry, when you tap and hold, it turns to a pencil, but we have here this little plus sign, which is the add button. Okay, so this is how you can go about making folders, and then instead of having your app drawer right away, you could have your most used folders or games or whatever, but this is how you make it, and it's going to come up in this card style right here. So let's go ahead and make one very quickly. Um, I don't think I have any games on this. Now up here you see the little folder icon, um, the settings icon, and then of course the colors. So for this color, I'm going to make it sort of purplish with 
uh, green. I like that. Purple and green, or sorry, purple and uh, green for the secondary. Go back. Okay, now tapping on new folder. Okay, this way you can change the icon that you saw. Let's go back. See the little folder icon right there? You can change that, tapping on it, and of course you can write in the name. So I'm just going to uh, write um, social, okay? Um, and another disclaimer, you guys know I have kids, so if you ever hear uh, some weird cartoons or a little bit of noise in the background, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> you know, I got kids, that's how kids are. Um, if you got kids, you know what I'm talking about. So yes, I do uh, apologize for that, but then again, they're kids, right? As long as they're not uh, throwing things on my desk while I'm doing this. Anyway, back to it. Um, we put up social, so we're going to look for uh, an icon that kind of represents people or social or anything like that. I'm um, not really seeing anything, or maybe I am. I'm kind of trying to look fast so I don't spend too much time looking for an icon. Um, there should be some sort of like people or something. Alright, this person by the tree. So we'll do that, we'll hit back, and there we go. The folder's name is social, as you can see. Social, and then that person by the tree. Okay, and then the applications that you choose to put in there. So I'm going to go down and pick those social apps uh, with contacts. So we've gone ahead and added apps. We're going to select OK. And now social. So tapping on social, you see the header changes color. Um, not really much of a color difference. Um, but you can see the secondary color is changing as well. Um, okay, so maybe I am going to actually <laughs> go ahead and change the color once more. We had blue. Let's put it like that. And then the secondary uh, will be, yeah, still we'll stick with the green. Okay, like that. So maybe like that. There we go. All right, now let's go back to the front, the first page. So see, we go. We have all. Okay, it's blue. Highlight uh, red. And then switching over to social. There you see see it okay now if we hold on to this we can actually switch places now I think that's going to make social the main page no that's not how you do it I do not remember how to do it but you get the gist of how to make folders and then by tapping them it's going to bring it up and if you have more than enough icons you know it will scroll just like the uh, just like the app drawer, it will scroll as well. Okay, now let's go ahead, let's jump into the settings because in order to show you how to make your social the uh, a home, okay, we're going to have to go through through the settings. Okay, and deleting folders, it's this, just as simple. You can see you have uh, more than one folder. You can't get rid of all, so that's always going to be there. But if, when you have folders, you want to get rid of some. If you just hold on to the icon again, you can change the icon, you can change the name, and then there's a trash bin decided to get rid of that all right let's go to the settings which is just a simple uh, left swipe or swipe right actually wait swipe left swipe right Hmm, mixing up my right and left here here's my left okay so now we're in the settings and here you can hide apps okay which is cool you can back up and restore system settings the UX settings uh, wallpaper and icon packs so that's very cool of course you can always just put on your own icon packs I have a few uh, right now I'm using the diff icons uh, I love these icons and I decided that it kind of goes with the material light look of uh, uh, of home UX so that's why I chose uh, diff icons you'd simply tap it it would say loading applications as it says right here uh, it does take a few seconds. Once that's done, boom, it's 
it's good to go. Uh, you can change the wallpaper since I'm using CM 12.1. Um, you know, it has the uh, block screen wallpapers, and I'm using a CM theme, so I just stuck with the wallpaper for that. Is what I'm saying. Let's go into the UX settings now. In here, you run, you start right off the bat. Let's zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see. Uh, you start with uh, here. You see UX settings. You start with general. Uh, we have defaults here, so whenever you change something, you can always just go back to defaults, just tapping that uh, button. So we have the app grid height, okay, which is uh, four. So it's four by four. Uh, you can change the app icon size. You can hide apps from the all folder. You can do that. Uh, you can show the app labels. You can get rid of that, and you can hide the app's background. Now I actually use this. Um, I just put it. I just took it off for the video, but basically uh, the card style background um, is now going to be gone. So it's going to be transparent there, the icons, but with the diff, some of their icons are a little dark, so you can't really see it, which is why I put the background on. I wasn't using diff icons before either, so I just did that for the video. Let's put back the background. Let's check it back out. There you have the card style. All right, back into UX settings. Scroll down. There's more options in the settings. The folder, folder title under the clock. Okay, you can remove that or you can enable that. Okay, then here it is where it says default. Sorry, the font on this theme is a little thin. Um, default home folder. It's on all. I'm going to go ahead and click social. There it is. Now social is going to be the default home folder. Okay, you can show the AM PM only for the 12 hour format. So if if you have your settings uh, in your phone, and you're using 24 hour format, it's not going to work. Okay, so there you go. AM and PM is on. Uh, we've changed that to default top panel. It's set to clock and quick shack action. And then it says folder panel. Now I did try the folder panel before and it did not uh, uh, work again this is a you know it's beta keep in mind this is beta out so let's go home and oh there it is so there you see it the first time I tried it it didn't work but here it is it's working so yeah okay that's going to be default but I want it to be the time so let's go back to settings okay let's scroll down don't be a noob like me uh, default top panel clock and quick action now let's go home and let's check this out there we go so social is the main home page okay, so you go over to animations now animations is basically the app page transition and you have a few to choose from in here and I don't remember which one I chose so I'm just going to cancel and leave that up oh, zoom out slide is what I chose okay pretty cool let's go over again to quick action now let's zoom down here so you can see this. Now quick action is that little button at the top there where you saw I had the camera. Okay, so you can enable quick action. It enables the floating quick action button or you can remove that. Okay, then you have the floating action button. Uh, the action is camera, you just tap and the icon, you just go and find the icon. Pretty straightforward and then swiping over is about UX settings and about Dravite in uh, info about the company and the option to donate now it says here the beta expires on June 1st 2015 so hopefully uh, by then I don't recall if it was mentioned uh, the pro version will be out we're gonna go hit social we're gonna come down here we're going to edit now you're going to see the settings button up here you want to go ahead and tap on the settings and within the settings, this is how for the folder you can actually lock it to alphabetical sorting or not alphabetical. That way you can put whichever app you want in front of whatever app. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to hit OK there. Now to get these, this little row here, these applications weren't there. So if I go ahead and tap and hold, you see the pencil icon appeared. It can bring it over to the pencil. Okay, and you can choose the icons for that very very simple 
Okay, so holding on the shortcut, you can just hold and you can just drag away. That's the option to remove the shortcut. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And then to put the icons there, you just search whatever, sorry, the application. Then you search for whatever application you would like. You hold on that application and then you have this option. So you have the option to go to the pencil, okay, the folder. I'm guessing to make a folder, then you have the trash bin, then you have the, the trash bin, of course, will install, I'll install, and then you have the Q&A up here, which is for quick, uh, what was that, quick apps or quick access. You just want to go ahead and drop it on the quick app option, and then you can search in here, find whatever icon you want to use. I'm just going to pick um, this, I'm just going to pick this application for now and there it is right there which is Google Plus tap on it it will open up the corresponding application very cool okay. so you can have that bar empty if you'd like or you can have those applications up there all right so you now. can have whatever and also that's another way if you don't want to go over and switch to all and switch like that you can just simply from the home page let's get this up here from the home page you can simply just swipe up to get to your other folder and then you can swipe side by side going through the apps if you have another folder you can swipe up swipe up swipe up very cool very simple um yeah just like that and of course whatever is in front that will be first so like that you want to go ahead and get that set up so i go home still social swipe up Okay, so it does matter with the placing. So now the app drawer is going to be up and then anything after social over here will be underneath it. And that, I actually really like that. That reminds me of another launcher that enabled you to do something like that. It was called a lightning launcher. I used to do some videos on that way back when. Um, it's a very, very powerful launcher. So right now how I see it, uh, Home UX uh, by Dravite Limited, it's a very, very unique launcher. I really like it. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, especially for me. I love widgets. Um, you know, right now in this uh, version, there is no widget support. Not that I know of, but who knows? You never know what they have in store. I really like the launcher. So for this first build, I got to give it two thumbs up. Definitely. I'm waiting to see the updates. I can't wait for the pro version to come out. Um, yeah. So links will be in the description. Links will be to the pro version uh, that you can pre-order because it's only in pre-order right now in the Play Store. And the link to the Google Plus page will be down below as well. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks for watching again. Another video with your humble host, Picasso. Uh, doing a quick little review of home ux by dravite limited guys excellent stuff i really like the launcher again your humble host picasso i'll see you in the next one peace i'm out